not at the big screen or the small screen, depending. Movie making is a tough racket. Listen to this pitch. You make your first film for 850 bucks and then run into a wall after trying to get folks to see it. Gene, this is not fiction. Two local filmmakers did just that. And as NBC10's RJ Heim reports, they're publicly showing their movie for the last time tonight in Providence. You want to come see my movie? For Alan Riley, making the film was one thing. It was very frustrating and painful to make it, but I, I, like, the, I like it the way that it is. Getting viewers to come see it is a whole other story. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you're into real independent film, bizarre, at times upsetting, you'll appreciate the movie The Grateful Undead, the $850 collaboration by two former high school friends who started writing 10 years ago and finally made the time to start shooting two years ago. It's campy and gross, but it's it's also it's also an intelligent movie. The characters wank to each other, but there's no like it's not it's not like a a uh, lampoon or anything. It's, it takes itself seriously. Now, when Alan gives out the promotional cards for the movie, since there's a limited budget, the audience is targeted. I try to find people who I would imagine sitting in the audience. While the movie about slackers in the 90s, burned out and bitter over the failed hippie movement of the 60s, may seem silly, they see it as a work of art with camp thrown in for fun. The people that go to it wanting it to be artistic are offended by the B-movie stuff, and the people that go to see a B-movie are offended by the art movie stuff. So it's, it's kind of, but I like that. I think that's good, because it challenges people. <laughs> This will be the end of the public life of the Grateful Undead for the two, playing at local 121 on Washington Street for five bucks tonight at 7.30, as they begin to focus on their next project, Captain Blood and the Space Cosmic, with no desire, they say, to change their approach as they boldly stick to their vision, running into obstacles along the way, on a budget. Do you know what it is? R.J. Heim, NBC 10 News in Providence. This is a garden slug. Well, the good news file comes from Jamestown tonight, where it was all about respect today. The kids from Lawn Avenue...